Hello, 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 Re. Hello, 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 and welcome to this final boss fight live stream of a familiar problem. I nearly said D and D, and it's it's almost but not quite that thing. Also, it's John's birthday. It's my birthday. Jeff John's has just resubscribed. He's so old. So Gosh, old. Say how many bubs. Say how Jeff many has just resubscribed for 69 months. <laughs> hey. <That's too> <laughs> uh, and says, happy birthday. Uh, yes, new alert. The new alert, do the swooshy thing. Swooshy. <laughs> Uh, it also the 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 alert now that that pops up here does uh, it, if people redeem things in the chat we get an alert on screen as well which is cool and make sure that I don't miss them. Uh, we, let's see. Let's go down the chat real quick. R Norton forty two says happy birthday. Sir Drupal says bappy hearth day. And Pendragon Nomad says, birthday happy. I have also noticed how dang quiet it is when we are not doing the talking thing, which means I need to remember that music and ambiance is a thing. Ambiance! So let's, let's get the ambiance going. <laughs> Random Shern just says, both. <laughs> yeah. I, I feel it was said in that tone. Am, am I right in yeah. that tone? Both. 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 Welcome oh, to wish this. You a happy both. <laughs> 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 Welcome okay. to this thing. Uh, this is a familiar problem. It is a one page RPG. This is it. It's. I mean, it's it's literally half a page, I guess. It's it's one side of A4, the other side being adverts. Mostly adverts for things I have, actually. Actually. Uh, things things I actually have. But the other side is a game, and we're going to play that game. It, is that because the adverts just worked really well on you? Um, no, like, the, the bits that I have that... The bits that I have were things I was already going to buy when I got the oh, advertising, or had already bought. Uh, the only bit on there that I haven't bought is the thing that doesn't exist yet, which makes it really difficult to buy. Yeah. That is kind of fair. I think that's just excuses, John. If you were a true fan of that work, you'd have found a way. I... Yeah. I will find a way, which is to buy it when it exists. My name is John, and it is my birthday, and to celebrate my birthday, I am joined by these fine humans. And my brother. Hey! <laughs> oh, dear. I didn't have to be here. <laughs> oh, none of you have to be here. Regards, oh, great! Bye. Just, just four Discord connects. Oh, <laughs> end stream. Um, <laughs> I am joined by these four fine humans. Uh, Tanny, hi. Who is very healthy right now? Very healthy, guys. Hi, everybody. Definitely hasn't been gargling razor blades. Be <laughs> That'd be terrible for your health. Don't make me laugh, I will goggle them badly. <laughs> uh, we are joined by Sean. Hello. By Sean. Mouth. Thank you. And by aforementioned Sir Drupals. Howdy. You're Sir Drupals. I am, in fact, the Sir Drubles. The one, the only. <laughs> I don't know who that guy thank is. God, the only Sir Drubles. <laughs> who? That guy. Oh, okay. That one. That one there. Look at him. Look at him. Sort of face and everything. You can find me on, on Twitch and on Twitter and various other social medias. I, I don't think we will find you on Twitter anymore, will we? Because that doesn't. Oh, exist. no, sorry. 
you'll find me on uh, on for the moment you'll find me on X except for I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't want to be on X. I've heard people are calling it shitter. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, apparently the X doesn't actually pronounce as X. It's called she, according to Elon. Butts. Sheet is oh yeah. Cheater, <laughs> so it makes a lot of sense. I still, I, I still love that they tried to take down the Twitter sign and they got as far as just leaving up uh... <laughs> oh. Oh. Anyway we are here to play a game a game of epic silliness These guys are going to take on the roles of various pets of of the D&D communities We'll start uh We'll start on this side and say, Tanny. Hi. Introduce Globby. Gobby? It's not, it's not Globby, Gobby. it's Gilby. Gobby. Introduce Gilby. Gobby. Gobby. That Gobby is Gilby. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what you said, Adobe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Introduce Photoshop. Ah, uh, you guys are so inseparable. Hi, my name is Gilby. I'm an octopus. I, I reside in the in the stormy brew with my two dads, Milo and Borrowed. I've I've i basically been like staring at how my dad Milo's been doing all the magics. So uh and I also handle with the tips as well. Uh I'm an activist. I, I do go invisible sometimes when I get really annoyed with people and I just wanna be left alone. And sometimes the reason why I sound like this is because, honestly, I have, I, when I'm outside of the water for a bit, I just sound like I'm dried up. Uh. Hello. Uh, so, I'm Drift. I am the eagle that belongs to Nephrin, who currently resides in the absolute middle of nowhere. Uh, so I spend most of my time just drifting about the place. <laughs> That's the name. I believe that you have been used at least once, probably on several occasions, to deliver messages or items yeah. on behalf of uh, Neff. Yeah, on occasions also for just general tracking, things like that. Uh, sure. Might be useful where I can. <laughs> Hello, I'm Ratberry, and I live in the bag of my father, <laughs> Carrion, <laughs> who's currently traipsing around Icewind Dale. It's very cold. And meanwhile, he does stuff. <laughs> he is definitely just a wizard. He's just a wizard, nothing more! He's and my boy, he's my pal. And finally, Drew. Hi there. Um, I'm Barry. Barry the Rat. Um, I am not a familiar. Uh, I'm in no way magical. I'm actually a, a rat from the real world. I am my pet rat, Barry. Um, I will be playing him exactly as I imagine Barry would be, as if he was transported into a magical land. Uh, I have not much more to say on that, really, right now. At this at this moment in time in the real world, where is Barry and what is he doing? Um, so, well, that's just rude, Arn Horton 42. <laughs> How dare you say that? Um... Barry is in a, a, a very large cage with his three brothers. Um, I think it's a large cage from the size of him. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Um, yeah. No, he's in like a cage that's suitable for like six rats, and there's four of them. Um, it's a huge bloody cage that he's got. Um, and he's probably asleep. Uh, I can't actually see him right now because I've shut the door, because otherwise you'd hear... Um, the rest of my household. <laughs> Fair. Good old Barry. As assumed asleep. <laughs> Wherever 
your particular animals happen to be at this particular point in time, a strange rustling sound awakens any that are asleep or confronts any that are awake. And a strange swirling mystical bluey purpley light flashes pulses several times and reality seems to just sort of tear itself open around you you find yourself either walking into this or suddenly engulfed by it or dropping out of a a bag carried by a definitely just a wizard uh, as if the very bottom, <laughs> the bottom of the bag itself has given way, and and you fall out, but not into cold. You fall for a second through a void, lightless, colourless, and then suddenly your feet hit the ground. Uh, I have tentacles. If they be splat. Your your <laughs> water container tink 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 on the ground because you do bring water with you Yay. conveniently for you know survival of your animal. Um, Sean and Drew, could I ask you both to roll me a d six? Roll you a d6. Six. I got a six. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wasn't wasn't expecting that, but sure. Clearly, I've trained this dice well. There are other numbers. Apparently, but not today. Apparently. Not not Apparently. now. <laughs> According to these dice, no, they're on. They're on the numbers. <laughs> you blink, the sudden shift in light and space uh, disorients you for a minute, and you find yourselves looking around, surrounded by each other. A rough stone work underfoot, grey. Uh, slate stones flat put together but uh, showing signs of wear, cracks in the stones uh, that the the, um, the material used to hold the place together has seen better days uh, mm -hmm. look around and describe what you see and how you react to this and and I will continue in a moment when you've experienced so, each other Drift on appearing somewhere new would instantly hop about two foot into the air shake all of her feathers out and be just trying to look around to find her bearings like it's really unnerved her okay um, especially because she doesn't fall often she's a bird <laughs> um barry sort of darts around in a circle realizes that he is he is in uh you know in fact, in fact he even says i this is not She's not the sofa, nor is it the cage. Oh my god, what's going on? Barry! As he like, like sees the rest oh, of you. Man. He just looks at you and shouts, Barry! And surprisingly, Barry! you understand this. Why? Am I to assume you're called Barry? Yeah, Barry is me. Um... Oh, wait, you understand me? Yeah. You should only my brothers understand me. I mean, I understand you, but I'm also a rat, so... Oh my god, you are another rat. I'm more confused by 
the, the horrible bird who looks like he's going to eat me and the bucket of pudding? Yeah, well, where am I? Clearly they are friendly because they responded when I said Bowie! Yeah, they, they did respond, so it makes sense that they probably are oh, friendly at least in some part. Who are you yeah. guys? You good. Um, he starts like pulling out all his arms out. That's far it. too many arms. Uh, what, you never seen an octopus before? What's an octopus? Uh, uh, a sea creature. Hello, octopus. The I'm Bowie. The sea is like a big water in a different land. So, it's like a puddle. Yeah, but it's so massive. Like, so much bigger. But yeah. Bigger than, bigger than a puddle. Yeah. I, I don't, I, I just turns to Barry. I, don't, I think they're making it up. I don't think there's anything bigger than a puddle. Uh, I don't know what a puddle is. Uh, there's a, there's a it's, like, it's, like a, it's like a bowl, but, but bigger. Like a water bowl. Like a yeah. water bowl, but bigger and tends to be more flat. So you, you're saying bottle weirdly. <laughs> There's definitely isn't the star on the roof. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. So, that, so you're from a bottle, okay. I'm not from a bottle. I am uh, well be in the pot. Like, like a big you. bottle. Like a really big one. Oh my god, that's amazing. Uh, uh, sorry, I I would... that, that's absolutely fine. Uh, do you, any guys know where the heck am I? Um, the not, room. we're not, I can tell you, we're not on the sofa and we're not in the cage. Mm -hmm. So I don't really know where we are. Also, is I... there any food here? And this is a question to Jim, like legit, is there any food in the nearby area? Uh, <laughs> well, there would have been food in the Stormy Bro, but this is definitely not the Stormy Bro. Uh, this isn't my bag. <laughs> You were in a bag? Drift. Oh, you know, that's kind of understandable. Yep. We'll, we'll start with Drift. You flap up into the air and you look around for a minute. And you can see that you are inside. Okay. Um, you are currently in a sizable corridor. It, are there windows? There are a few, but there are bars Note over Note to self, them. fly into those later. <laughs> there are currently bars over the windows. And you can see uh, several... Um, larger openings opening. that have uh, rusted bars over them. Okay. Um, She's going to fly over to a window and hang on the bars to get a look around. You try to look out, but the um, the plant cover outside has overgrown the window and you can't see anything through it. Okay. Too many plants out there. Can't tell where we are. Can't even see the horizon. Wait. Is there anything growing on the plants that like, that we could eat? Because Barry's wasting away over here. Bowie. I don't think we can get out the windows just just yet. As you get to this point in the conversation, there is a strange collection of uh, a, a pile of equipment in one corner of the room you uh, at least some amongst you recognize the uh, the bow that is stood up that suddenly just slides along the wall and clatters to the ground oh boy uh, you, you recognise it to be a bow, you don't recognise necessarily the bow itself. Is it... Is it human-sized... Like, is it regular-sized It is sized a regular-sized bow? bow for human-like people. Uh, Did anything knock it? <coughs> you look to see there's sort of... Uh, 
a pile of of what could be a backpack and bedroll uh, that that's trying to move. That's real concerning. A oh. a voice emanates from underneath. Excuse me. Um, I could use a little help here. Hello, Bowie, and I charged at the voice. The fellow bad contained person such things, that animal. Come on! <laughs> yeah, Gibby's gonna walk like a flower over there. You you drag your bucket uh, container of water towards the. Uh, the bag. And I apologise for the lack of the lack of Cockney accent involved in that particular uh, accent. I'll I'll try to contain my disappointment. I, I'm sure you, you can understand that there are just some voices that I can't do justice, but as as you pull aside the bag and, and together work, work together, uh, Bowie and Bowie and and Gooby, uh, you, you sort of pull the bag aside, and a black and white uh, rabbit emerges from under the bag. Oh, a wabbit. Hell there. Why can I are understand you... you? Are are you okay? Oh no. Uh, are you okay, sir? Mr. Rabbit. Sorry, it's a female rabbit. I Mr. Rabbit. I What? Are you okay? Not what, Bowie? Uh, why are you calling me Miss Rabbit? I don't know. You're, Do you have a name? It'll be probably be. It'll probably be something around the reason that that you're a rabbit. Yeah, that's also because you're a rabbit. You're oh. not a rabbit. It, long ears, quite long back feet, rabbit. Look, and your nose tail. is doing that really weird little kind of twitchiness. You guys are smart. The the rabbit looks up, and as it looks up, like its ears bend down into eyesight. It looks down at its feet, and it it sort of crosses its eyes to look at its twitching nose. I can sense. I can feel this in my brain, and it's, it looks adorable. <laughs> I shouldn't be a rabbit. Oh? Why not? Rabbits are cool! They're not like rats, though, let's be fair. They're not as cool oh. as rats, obviously, because we're quite obviously the coolest people in this room. Yeah. Bowie! Berry! <laughs> I could just have the whole adventure be with just the two of you shouting that. That would be fine. Bowie! Bowie! <laughs> I'm a... I'm an adventurer. Oh, What's we that? Got, I... Oh, those just like people who like goes on things, do like cool stuff. Oh, I, like mum I and dad. I deal with adventures all the time at the brew, at the inn, and that's how Stanza says rabbits are rodents, so not as cool as rats, but not miles away. And Ree says... Wally is very confused as he keeps hearing Bowie. <laughs> That's my brother. <laughs> Hi, brother. I'm on the telly. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's getting very meta now. Congratulations, John. Um, uh, so sorry. You're 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 like a mum and a dad. Yeah. What? I like do 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 people in my house they're called mum and dad. Oh like are you were uh, were you originally like human? 
Me, Bowie? No. No, Bowie, no, no. Bowie. I'm talking to the. I'm talking to Miss Wabbit. Oh, sorry. I thought you were talking to me. Sorry. You're okay, Bowie. Yes. Uh, I should be. I... Well, you're a rabbit now. Let's make use of it. Are you sure? Like, sometimes I wake up and I think I'm a bed, but I'm actually not. I'm actually still Bowie. I mean, gestures at equipment. I, until very recently, I was human. Yeah, that stuff's not going to fit you. Are no. you sure? Are you sure you're not just a rabbit with illusions of grandeur? Yeah, or, maybe, or maybe you know, guys, go... I've seen something like this before. So my papa, Milo, he was doing some magic at one point, and he accidentally turned himself into some sort of uh, cat. I Did... think this is what it was. Oh, yeah, it was horrible. <laughs> Wait, like, I... it could be, it could just be, maybe this wabbit just, just, it went to shop and this stuff he bought was too big. Also, it's a very weird looking shop. It is. Because it's so not you, a cardboard box. Do you have a name? Bowie. <laughs> yeah, Bowie, but I'm talking to the rabbit. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> do you have a name, rabbit? I, <laughs> Ember. Amber. Amber. Amber? Amber. Okay. A weird Let's name see. for a rabbit? It is. It's because I'm not uh, a nice rabbit. Nice to meet you, uh, nice to meet you Amber. Well, you look like one. <laughs> I, um, the, the Gooby would, like, get one of his tentacles and, like, shook um, the rabbit's hat and paw. Like, like, how do you do? The, the <laughs> rabbit looks awesome. very confused as... and, and shakes your tentacle back <laughs> again. <laughs> It would, it would be even worse for them if they were, if they were one human because this is now a giant octopus. Yeah, this, <laughs> this, this is very. This is a very bad day in Amber's life. Um, Drift will swoop over and like swoop above and land on something the other side of them, just to see their reaction. As, as you do, like a. Uh, Instinctively, the the hairs on the back of Amber stand up. I'm very nervous. Suddenly, I don't like it. Heart racing. It probably is a bird. Very terrifying. Yeah, don't worry. You're safe. Somebody tell this rabbit body that. Yeah, interesting. I'm kind of used to this kind of stuff, so maybe, maybe you can tell us why we're here, cause uh, we're not supposed to be here. Yeah, that I'm worried I'll get in trouble, and also Wally will miss me. Where, where's Wally? Um, <laughs> probably, it's probably in the cage. Um, I assume this is not downstairs well this nobody doesn't have a downstairs I was, I was exploring this old uh, ruins I think it's been taken over by a, a powerful wizard uh, he said something about no witnesses and pointed the pointed their staff at me and then it all went dark and uh, I had some I had some spells left so I tried to summon <coughs> assistance from brave adventurers but uh, I guess the the wizard's magic interfered with mine That sounds troublesome. Uh, I'm going to show how, uh, that I'm helpful and I'm going to do a perimeter check. Bowie! I'll start looking around, uh, checking the perimeter. Bowie! Does, does, does Barry know what a perimeter is? Um, yeah. Yes. Okay. 
At least he's about eighty percent sure. Well, yeah. oh, okay. <laughs> Again, I'm I this so essentially Barry from time to time when he's out. Here, like, actually, like, check around, like, the area and stuff like that. So we joke that it's the perimeter check. So, like, everything I am doing, I'm trying to do as in character as Barry the rat. Uh, Barry, could you roll me a quick check? Um, I rolled a seven uh, plus my quick plus two, so that'd be a nine in total. Uh, so Barry whizzes around the 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 outside of this space and just like. <laughs> snuffles along the walls and, and, and uh, darts between the cages of the, the prison cells. You locate a door at one end of the room. Guys, it, this uh, one thing is that one this place looks like it's like many big cages, like bigger than my cage. So maybe this rabbit was a foreman in one of these cages and it was their cage uh, and the second thing I noticed is there seems to be like a big door over there and also I don't think this is, again I still don't think this is my living room yeah I'm with you on not thinking it's your living room yeah because Wally would be here and so would Mari and maybe Guybrush I think we've just been pulled in to something else. Can you uh, can you help me find this wizard and stop being a rabbit? But rabbits are cool. You seem cool. Do you think it will send us home once we're done? Oh yeah. Hopefully. I, like, well, I mean, I could. Can... Yeah, better do. My father will be livid if I don't. If I'm not in the bag. <laughs> yeah, my papa. Borrowed will be very upset. I mean, if if it doesn't send you home when it's finished, I can probably do that. I have some I... magic. When I'm a human, I think I was a human. Let's let's do it. Right, I'd like to go one. I'd like to go Bowie um, at the door. You succeed uh... in that. Right, no, 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 but as I do it, um, I would like to unknowingly use the spell Summon Hole to summon a hole in the door. Okay. You look at the door. I know there's probably better uses of things I could do, but this seems like the more fun one for me to find out I have magic. You look at the door, you focus on the door, you channel your barriness towards the door, and a very small hole goes... <laughs> yeah, Bowie! I go through the hole. And like a, like a completely circular hole has just opened in the door large enough for everybody to fit through. Despite the fact that the octopus is large, it can actually squeeze through small little things. you got to take your bucket with you, though. Oh, the bucket! <coughs> it's about, I assume it, that fits too. It's about Guys. a foot or so across, so you can fit the bucket through. Okay, uh, okay, I can put the bucket in, that's fine. We'd uh, better follow him before he... Oh, he's he's the <laughs> Drew, mark off that you have mark used off. Summon Hole. I have done so. You all charge at your various speeds through the summoned hole in the door yeah. and find another uh, chamber to this this ancient ruined prison this time a uh, descent a set of stairs leading downwards into darkness Oh boy. Not a not a fan of the look of that. I don't really like being closed in. Am I gonna get in trouble? No. If anything, we're not gonna get in trouble, hopefully. I think oh, we're okay. just gonna be Usually when I make holes in stuff, I usually get in trouble and usually it's a lot harder for me to make holes in things. So like 
I think I think this wabbit was a wizard. Hmm. And I have somehow what? taken their place. Place. It's well possible, maybe. Let's maybe see. either that, or you're very quick at gnawing holes through doors. Uh yeah, I mean, I I could I could do that, but usually takes a little longer, and I usually get in trouble for doing that, and, and neither of those things happened. So it's probably magic. It, it's magic. It must be. There's no other explanation. Bowie. <laughs> She's checking if anything magic would happen. It didn't. But you you shout Barry into the void, and 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 the void does not answer this time. Oh. Bowie. Well, we got some stairs. Let's go. Oh. Right down. <laughs> I like. I can do downstairs, but upstairs is is harder. Well, I demonstrate this by dropping down the stair. <laughs> Barry lowers themselves over the edge of the stair and just like drops. Yeah, very much like just walks up to the edge of the stair, like just kind of looks over as if he's about to jump down sensibly and kind of just flops down onto the next floor. And there is this thing thud, and then and then you just hear Bowie. Is he going to do it for every step? Please tell me he is. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. We must descend to find out. <laughs> I just want Drew Welcome to just... to the next three hours of this role. Drew just gets <laughs> to the edge of each step and drops, and it's ever so slightly a quieter. Bowie, Bowie. No, sorry, Bowie. sorry. Dad didn't go to the edge of the step. Bowie went to the edge of the step. God, God voice in the sky who's narrating this. Uh, yeah, who is that? Can't get good voices in the skies these days. Bowie. I'm also genuinely going to matter that Barry is fully aware that, that like, of, of John as the GM. <laughs> yeah, sir. Breaking the fourth wall. That's the, um, the power. The power of rats. The power of rats. They know the fourth wall. <laughs> Drift will assist with quiet bucket moving. Just like she's got hold of the handle. Okay. To help take some of the weight on the way down the stairs. You you assist mm. with with carrying the bucket down the stairs. I really appreciate Rat that. Please. Rat Berry is just going to follow behind Barry, just like up the edge, flop up the edge, flop up the edge, flop. <laughs> it is truly like how how rats handle stairs. Yeah. Uh, they tend so, to get to the edge of them and just kind of flop down onto the next one. Despite the fact that, like, in their cage, they jump around and stuff, but... But when it comes to stairs... When it comes to stairs, it is... They can flop method. Yeah. Um, I also partly base this on the amount of times that we just hear a thud in the cage, and we're like, oh, Barry's got up. <laughs> Barry's up now. Barry's Barry's decided to get out of bed because uh, that was certainly a third, and you just see like Barry running around. Anyway, sorry. Um, I'm going. I'm loving the amount of uh, Barry quotes that are now ending up in the out of context quotes chat on the FBF oh Discord. Yep. I mean, so far it's two, but I'm sure there's going to be more zingers from Barry. Uh, but yeah, head over to I Discord assume... to find them. Our uh, rabbit friend is following. Uh, Amber is following. Is, is takes a few minutes to work out how to stairs as a rabbit. That uh, they are not used to this. It takes the first step very carefully. Uh, hang on a minute. Let me roll the dice for this. Takes the first step very carefully. Lowers themselves over it. Is that a good number or a bad number? That's a good number. Why did I roll the dice that doesn't have a 10 on it? I need a dice that actually goes to 10. That dice goes... You're a dude. That, that is a d10, but it goes to explosion. Ah. 
Um, but then very quickly picks up on how to uh, how to navigate the stairs in its in her new rabbit form, and just drops down over the edge, and very quickly makes their way down the stairs to catch up with the rest of you. As you see, this uh, the, the staircase leads down to a um, dimly lit corridor. Uh, flagstones on the ground but again down here the, there is a heavy dust over everything there is uh, cracked stonework um, and as you've gotten lower there's like occasionally there's just like a little of dust that comes from uh, comes from the ceiling as just the, the uh, earth above just like settles in and knocks down some things um, and the, the 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 stairs lead down to a corridor that branches off to the uh, to the right uh, around the corner this place his mum should really like take the hoover through here like sure it's loud and scary but like it's wall dusty I, I, I was going to say, my, my little adorable rat feet are getting covered in dust here. Yeah. Look at them! Holds up his tiny adorable rat feet. <laughs> uh, obviously, Barry immediately comes over and grooms you. Because... Yeah. <laughs> Boys Bowie! Does, does Rat Barry attempt to uh, lift up all four of his feet at the same time? Or... No, just just the two. Okay. Just the just the just the front two. <laughs> just just the sensible two. Yeah. He oh, stands on his head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're T Rex. I I I I I am. What's a T? What's that? <laughs> it's it's. I don't know. Sometimes I, I do that, and and I'm like. I, sometimes Mum tells me I'm a T Rex. Well, it must be something not. cool, because otherwise, why would they say it? Exactly. I, I'm, I always get confused, because I'm obviously, I'm Bowie. It's exactly. And, you know, I, <clears throat> they, they might just be getting confused. I I, I, I can't say, because I've not met your parents, but, you know. Yeah. You should, though. They like rats. Oh, well, that sounds great, then. I'll, I'll, I'll have to come over sometime. Yeah. New friend. By the way, I'm I'm number one in 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 to pick an order, uh, followed followed by um, probably Guybrush, um, but we all like Murray as well, and also um, I like Wally's my brother. Wait, uh, you have a you have a guy, but, a Guybrush. Yeah, he's called Guybrush. Guybrush. Yeah, That's my a brother. Weird name for a rat. Oh no, it sounds like a pretty dashing name if you ask me. Um. Sounds like a mighty pirate is what Dad says. I don't know what that means. Oh, right. That makes a lot of sense. Also, apparently Murray's somehow related to that, but I don't understand. For I am Bowie. Okay. Uh, where to next, guys? Um, hopefully not down this dusty hallway, because he needs cleaning. The only, very way, dead. the only way in front of you is the dusty hallway that needs cleaning. Uh, uh, the, voice in, the voice in the sky says that um, we, it's down here. Oh, but okay. it's so dirty! How are we supposed to get through them? It's, when we, we, we got our little rat feet. We'll get filthy with us. <laughs> well, you can go down my head. But you're all wet and Slime you look at. <laughs> hey, it's better than being on the dust, I guess. I mean, I don't want to be on the dust. Because... I don't know. It seems like it seems like there's no lesser of the two evils here. There's just two evils. Uh, oh, I mean, I don't know why you lot are complaining about the dust. Oh wait, <laughs> I'm flying <laughs> over it. <laughs> I'm gonna go over. I'm just gonna go. I I can't carry all of you, so. But you could carry Bowie. 
I mean, I could, but that would be favouritism or something. Whatever that word means. No one would blame you. Besides, hmm. I'm helping with the bucket. I have a best idea. I jump on the rabbit's back. <laughs> what? Ah. Marry me over the dusty floor. <laughs> Fine. Thank you. You're a puppet. Tim on the, Tim on the head. <laughs> the, the, the temptation to try and use my issue to get around this one, even though this is probably I mean, not a challenge in any way, shape, or form. I, I, I have, I have a spell I could use, but it seems a bit overkill. <laughs> yeah, I like the idea. I like the idea that you're to set this up, and it's like not even a challenge. And we're like, nah, can't do it. It's, it's <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Ratberry is from <laughs> Um Right, I suppose um, Bowie, and I just charge across the dusty floor and hope that nothing's actually like this is not Let's some sort go. of trap. You charge the dusty floor. You fly over the dusty floor. You octopus walk a right. bucket. Over the dusty floor. Ride a rabbit across the dusty floor. <laughs> Roll me a quick check, please, uh, Rat Berry. Oh, no. <laughs> um, quick. Uh, so it's D10, you said, didn't it? Yes. D10, yeah. Yeah. That is a uh, uh, seven. That's the one. Um, plus two, so nine. Yeah, nine. Uh, Amber charges across the dusty floor trying to get through it as quickly as possible uh, and is not quite yet used to the gate of of uh, being a rabbit but you manage to hold on tightly to the back of Amber and, and are not flung loose and don't have to contend with the dusty floor yourself uh, thank goodness you do have You're to... doing fantastic, Amber. You and and everybody else does have to contend slightly with the dust that is being kicked up as an eagle flies through the room. Yeah. I'm trying real hard not to. Like, like a low flying jet, just... <laughs> <laughs> just swirls of dust behind her. You you might be trying hard not to, but it it's also very hard to. Not kick up dust as you go. Yeah. You if the dust gets too much, she'll stop helping with the bucket and fly higher. You find your way to another door. This one is ringed with uh, metal work around the edges. It it doesn't necessarily look newer than the other doors, the the, the rest of the place, but it is. Uh, it is more intact. Interesting. How do you confront the door? I'm gonna try and open the door. The door appears to be locked. Ah, of course. Hang on, guys. I think I've got something that I learned from my papa. Um, uh, Gooby will use door magic. Okay. And try to unlock the door. How does door magic look as Gooby attempts to use it? The, uh... The, his tentacles kind of glow a little bit. And, like, he's, like, turns his... Like, gets all his tentacles to start moulding them again and turning them into a key and then slice it in. Okay. It's fucking rare, but it works. <coughs> you watch as the end of Gooby's tentacles extend and twist into the shape of a key and then the tentacle extends upwards to fit into the lock and turn and with a click the door swings open. Uh, mark off your use of door magic, Tani. Yeah. I 
and see. There. Let's go, guys! You are confronted with a room. Shocking, I know. Oh my god, I'm so shocked. Unlike the corridors you've been in so far, this room opens up into a wider uh, room-shaped room. Um, in the middle of the room, on both sides, there is a three or four foot tall um, thing that thin thing that ends with a orb-like uh, ball on top. Hmm. And you can see emanating from the orb a faint triangle of uh, light that sweeps across the floor and then back the other direction. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Not much to look at that. No, what should we do? Anybody got any ideas? Uh, it's, it's a... Sorry, I'm terribly sorry, but um, um, it Discord just went. You, I couldn't hear anyone for like the last ten, ten seconds or so. Oh boy. What what do you need repeated? What what what, what did what was the last thing you we're, heard? We're in a room. In the center of the room, on both the left and right side of the room, from the door that you were coming in through, there is a three to four foot tall uh, pole shape pole altar thing ending in an orb and from the end of the orb projects onto the ground emanates onto the ground a faint light that sweeps back and forth across the middle of the room that looks that looks troublesome yeah, what should we do? Should we just poke it or should we leave it? Oh, maybe it's a ghost we should turn into a rabbit. First, first thing that we should do is a perimeter check. And I bet Barry first proceeds to do a perimeter check. There is a perimeter to the place. Everyone, there is a perimeter. It's there. And no, no other exit. Stream. No other exit. Is there a way that um, Gooby can see or like try to understand what it's doing? Uh, you could make me a clever check. Okay, that's a D10 on that. One. I rolled a zero. Okay. What does that mean? Uh, that's a 10. Okay, so yeah, crit, and I got a 13. Uh, Amber. Bunny rabbit, bunny rabbit lollops up to you, looks at these things, and, and just sort of whispers in your uh, ear. Octopuses have ears, right? Whispers uh, at the side of your head. <laughs> whis whispers oh, yeah. towards you. Yeah. It looks arcane. Yeah. And and you agree that there there is definitely the sort of signature of arcane magic uh, to to these uh, things. Okay. Um. If you had to hazard a guess, they are a a form of protective magic intent on either keeping people out. Or, or uh, alerting somebody if if people cross this space, or both. I shall let them know what it is. Oh, interesting. 
Yeah. So do we like, I don't know, stay out of the Chloe bit? Chloe bits in magic's the bad stuff, right? Yeah, well, this is kind of some sun protection magic, so they're probably trying to keep us out of something. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Do you think that thing's like pointed at the floor? That's really like showing. John, I assume there's no sign of light on the ceiling. You don't see any sign of light on the ceiling. And would there be enough space to go over it? Um, it's it's a good two feet or so away from the ceiling, so you might be able to fly over it. It's difficult to tell. Do you think so? Okay, so here. But here's a thought. That thing, to me, anyway, looks like it's pointing at the floor. So maybe I can give you guys a hand to get over it. I don't know if that's going to work, because I don't really know what it does, but magic and avoiding the shiny stuff. The shiny stuff hurts. That's what I know of it anyway. Yeah. We can give it a shot. It's not even that, we've got to cross the, the glowy things on the floor. And I don't much care for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give it a go. Slow and steady. Yeah, let's go then. Who wants ah, to go we... in? Is it right against the side of the wall, John? Yes. But literally in the doorway? Oh, they're okay. level with the well, level with the walls, so you couldn't go behind yeah. it. No. Okay. <clears throat> so we know that I could carry either of the rats. Yep. How how would I do on rabbit carrying? You could carry a rabbit. Cool. I, I'm fairly Just confident. That question? Drift is able to be carried. The octopus does provide. Definitely more of a challenge, yes. Okay. Right. Shall I carry the rats over first? We'll come back for come back for you, Gooby. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I'm I'm gonna take Ratberry across first. I'm gonna go as high as I can oh. to the ceiling. Okay, just don't crush me in your terrific talons. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can hang on to my feet if that makes you feel better. Oh, yes. Holding on to the horrific <laughs> murderous talons is much better. <laughs> better than them grabbing you as much as you know. I'm very careful. Just hold on for dear life. A little, uh, a little rat feet. <laughs> Matt Matt Berry. Rat Berry, sorry. Rat Matt Berry. Berry. Who, the, who the hell is that guy? Uh could you roll me either a uh I think this is gonna be a quick check. This is a dangerous quick check. Quick check. Quick check. That fell off my bed. Okay. Uh, hang on. That is a ten. Uh, plus two is twelve. You are fine. Yeah. You you hang on to the dangerous murder murder toes with for dear life. But you are deposited safely on the other side of the room. And nothing happened whilst we passed it. And nothing happened while you passed it. Except okay. for the anti-air guns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I shall go back for Barry. Bowie! Are you, are you hanging on to me, or am I hanging on to you? What's your preference? Uh, um, I, 
I sometimes try it on my dad's back, so that would be, so how, can I do that? Yeah, sure, as long as you stay still and in the middle. <coughs> yeah, definitely. Okay. Jump on. I stay in the middle, but staying still, I'm like, Bowie, this is so cool, Bowie! Until you drop me. Barry, can you give me a quick check, please? Bowie. Um, that would be another nine. Okay. This is close. You you come close to dropping off of uh, the flying uh, drift as, as you sort of get very excited for flying and... and uh, shouting your name as as you cross the room and drift you sort of you manage to keep yourself centered as you cross the room actually no uh drift could you give me a quick check as well i can attempt let's see uh that is a six four plus two you attempt to keep yourself centred as the excitable Barry clambers around on your back. Uh, but it, it, it just throws throws the waiting off just a little bit. And one of the one of the lights you just sort of clip into one of the lights with a wing, and there is a and it fires a, a concentrated beam of light that you manage to avoid, but it sh explodes on the opposite wall and showers the room with just uh, a, a fine sprinkling of gravel that used to be one of the blocks on the wall. Uh, could you mark off a stress, mark off a please? Stress. Yep. Right, Barry on the floor on the other side going, oh, that's what it does. <laughs> yeah, I don't like what that does. That's... That's not fun. And then as soon as it's fired, it dims for a minute, and then boom, turns back on again and starts spinning. How long was it dim for? Long enough for you to drop Barry off and to get back over to Gooby. What about Amber? Would it be long enough for someone to dash through? If they knew it was coming, potentially. Okay. So Drift is going to land back beside the other two. Here's a thought. I'm not quite sure. <coughs> well, let me know what you think. This thing fires. Not fun. Didn't didn't like it. Managed to avoid it, but you know. But it has a reset time, or at least that's what it looks like. So if I or one of us can trigger it, maybe the others could run through. Like I don't know whether Amber, you could help Gooby with the bucket and get some speed going. I can try. Is there anything in the room that I can pick up, John? That uh, feels like it would make enough visual difference to drop it through the um, detector? Roll me a clever check. <clears throat> mm -hmm. <laughs> that too. You don't no. see anything. You okay. don't take a point of stress for that. Okay. That that was not a dangerous check. That was looking round. Looking round isn't dangerous. How how could we trigger this thing? Anyone else got any suggestions? No, 
Uh, I could r try and run through it, says Amber. Not exactly quick, but... Run through the beam, you mean? I, I yeah. could try to go quick. Fast. It's a good, it's a good, good idea. Um, John, with how fast I've managed to help Gooby go in the bucket down the stairs, does it look like there's a decent chance of being able to make it helping Gooby this time? If the if if the uh, trap isn't active, either you or Amber could help Gooby with the bucket across before it resets. Okay. Yeah, Amber, if you wanna, if you wanna give that a go of triggering it, you're more than welcome to. You just gotta count us in. Okay, here I go. Oh dear. Didn't roll well. <laughs> Amber sprints across the room on, on uh, newly acquired rabbit feet and the beams just <laughs> and just rabbit <laughs> flies across the room smoke pouring from one side Ow. Yeah, that that that's not good. Did we get through? There is time for you if if you go sort of a few seconds after Amber went, you get yeah. through to the other end of the corridor just as the powers back up again. Okay. Right. Amber, I'm going to attempt to fly you over. Amber's on the side now. like. Oh, Amber did make it. Amber's made it through, but they've got a, a very large burn mark down one side. I think I'm just going to wait here for you to get back. If you could just find the wizard stuff <clears throat> and break well... it flap wing to <laughs> kind of cool down the area. Thank you. Uh, thank you, that's that's helpful. Okay. What yeah. about me? You got across. Okay, cool. You, you and uh, Drift rushed across as Amber was hit by the trap. Uh, yeah, as Amber was shot mercilessly by some uncaring crawl DM. <laughs> right, we'd better press on. We got it, let's go. Yes, on we go. Bowie. <coughs> Very the Bowie. Barry. Bowie. Barry. 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 I'm just confused. I'm Bowie. Who's that? Barry. Like, it, like it's almost <laughs> bringing me over there. Uh, I did. I don't think I catch your name properly. Was it Drift again? Yeah, Drift. Oh, that's a pretty cool name. I'm Gilby. It's a pleasure. My name's Bowie. You have said so many times, Barry. My name's Rat Barry. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Rat Barry. Those names are real similar. It's interesting. I know, right? Is that a rat thing? I'm talking about they're completely they they different. I'm, I'm Rat. I'm Rat Barry. He's Barry. And that's Gilby. Yeah. And then, and then my, again, my brothers have other names because uh, they're not me, because I'm Bowie. Oh, yeah. Well, that would just get confusing if you were all called Barry. That's kind of true. <laughs> That's kind of how names work. They do. Anyway, they do. there was something about breaking a wizard stuff. 
Yeah, wizard stuff. Gotta go smash it. Gotta help Amber. Let's yeah, let's go. go. Let's go, Amber. Okay, break oh, Amber. Break, break Amber. Help the wizard stop. Okay. Now, 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 the other way. He's already walking off. Yeah. <laughs> as long as he's not walking towards Amber, like we'll just roll with it. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of point. Yeah, mm. what? Why right, you've got it? You've got it, you've got it the wrong way around. But like, it's cool. I help you. Just for, do what I do. Bowie, and then charge to the next room. The the doorway at the end of this room is is less the the nice finished and worked doorways that you've seen previously, <coughs> and now uh, through a combination of age and uh, possibly this is where the naturally worked prison finished and a cave system has intersected at some point. Uh, the door is sort of a bit rougher. You can see some evidence, uh, if, if you care to look for it, that this may have once been a door to a less finished space. Uh, but the door has mostly collapsed in now, and, and the cave is sort of reclaiming the space. And and you head into another corridor and, and down the, uh, uh, an unworked natural stone uh, <coughs> corridor. He's, that voice is right. Like, this is definitely not the nicest corridor that we've been in so far. I think you can handle this guy. At least, it's not, at least it's not dusty. I mean, that's true. The dusty room was pretty bad, so maybe the voice in the sky was slightly well, Quite possibly the, most, the worst room we've been in so far. Yeah. I would like to go back home, please. You reach a... Uh, a larger sort of cave-like room and immediately the first thing you hear to the side next to the door that you come in through there is the tinkling of water Ooh. oh um Gooby yeah that's where you're from right what where are we talking about it's, well, that, we, that, we, we found like, your home. It's like look, you said there was the ocean. There it is. It's that that water there. Oh, that's where I'm originally from, but I'm in the semi brew at the moment. You, but yeah, that's the ocean. You so see, Gooby, you see a very small, uh, almost fountain-sized. Uh, space of rock, a naturally occurring small lake with a little waterfall trickling down into it. That is like way bigger than I was even imagining. Uh... <laughs> it's but it's yeah. definitely bigger than a water bottle. Yeah, like that's so much water, and I don't like water, yeah. but you said you live in the water, therefore, yeah, like. They said they lived in lots of water, and that's lots of water. Yes, so you must have been We found Gooby's home! We found <laughs> Wait, does that mean that like our homes are just in a room beyond this? No, no, I don't live in that. Like that's where my that's my kind that's where my kind originally are from. But I'm in a tavern, that's where my home is at the moment. You see the tavern. Yeah. Uh, you don't know you what the a large body is. of water, and now it's, it's a tavern, like, Uncle Fool. This tavern's like a place you go for drinks and food and have parties. It's oh, it's cool. that, 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 the place where my where my father <laughs> gets milk from. Uh, yeah, you see, you get it. Like, so it's, it's like my cage. Yeah, you can say that, but does it have like the the? It's got, it's it, it's like uh, for what I understand. It's like your cage. Uh, if a load of other people were in it, oh, that sounds and terrible. lots and, of bottles on the wall, and and there were lots of bottles and people being really hey. loud and annoying. Oh. Oh, yeah, but wait, so sometimes you know, sorry, a lot of bar fights. 
I know lots of. I mean, we have scraps in the cage as well, but like, it's like more than four balls. Yeah. More than that. There must oh. be. Uh, looks at his little rat feet. <laughs> more than this, and holds up all of his little rat feet and goes. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many balls. I I know. That's way too many bottles, isn't? It? Do you wait? Do you surely uh, like four bottles is definitely enough if if share easily? Yeah, I hear they all taste different though. I don't know what that means. Not allowed, what? Me, but I hear what? they taste different. What, what could possibly be in all these bottles <laughs> if they taste different? <laughs> yeah, know. they're water bottles. If you have think water it's in. fun to play on, the... what are you doing, Meryl? Get oh, the sorry, I know what it is. It's um, Get it's off. vitamin water. Because like, sometimes I get vitamin water, because sometimes, like, we need more vitamins. So is it like that? It's more strong than that, Dad. You can't Maybe. tend to go really funny. What like, make it go funny? Yeah. They, sm they, they, they make funny words. They don't really <coughs> make full sentences out of well, So, that so we, we failed at finding Gooby's home. Yeah. Aw, sad. Anyway. Well, we were close. Well, there must be that that wizard staff's got to be here. So, Bowie would like to do a perimeter check. Okay. <laughs> Rebel uh, points out in the chat, Barry, and apparently you can break the fourth wall. Hey. So I guess the chat Hello. is open game. Uh, it could be medicine. Medicine comes in bottles. Oh my god, is it medicine? Uh, no. Cause, cause like Murray has medicine. He has like five medicines. He's like well sick. I have none. But occasionally I get a bicky, uh, cause I like to try and have the medicine. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's because it gets delivered in tasty stuff. So I'm assuming that it's medicine because I'm not allowed it and it tastes funny. Therefore, it must be medicine you're on about. But anyway, thanks, ma'am. <laughs> we'll be back to you soon. What are you talking to? I, uh, I know the voice in the sky said chat. Oh, I don't well, understand that. Wait. Anyway, Just not right. Questioning. So, Bowie. Bowie does perimeter check. Okay, roll me a clever. Oh, Barry's best though. <laughs> <laughs> a six. Okay. There's a perimeter. Oh, guys, I've checked the perimeter. It's still there. Oh. Um, does that water look safe? To you, Gooby. I don't think so. I will put my tentacle in it. Give me a clever check, Gooby. I will give you a clever check. I got it, said again. Thirteen. Sorry, I I have a button for this. That is it? One second. There are other there numbers. Are other numbers. <laughs> <laughs> yep. There are not. This is a bad number. This water has been sitting here for a long time. It is. Oh, nice. It is stagnant. Uh, yet there is something almost magical about it. You don't uh, think it's safe. Uh, so this water is not safe to drink. Uh, it might make you feel a bit sick. But also, there seems to be like kind of weird magic to it, but it's still not right. Yeah, that doesn't sound, doesn't sound good. Uh, yeah, I, I, I recommend everybody to not drink the water. What are our other direction options, John? Uh, you have... Uh, two ways out of this cave. You can head round past the waterfall 
uh, to the left or to the right. Um, I'd like to fly up just towards each of the directions and see if I can see through the opening. I'm looking for either like light or sign of stuff being built up or give me a pair of quick checks pair of quick checks uh the first one is a seven the second one is a nine okay you look through <laughs> the space and to the right <laughs> uh, um, I I am I am back. Yeah, Rebels no. has just messaged to say Barry's having technical difficulties. The perimeter was needing a good stare at. Yeah, I was staring real hard at the perimeter. Um, I've missed things, um, but just go with it. It's fine. Uh, to the right, you see the corridor disappears off into darkness further than you can see. Um, okay. To the left, it opens up very quickly into another cavern space, and then there appears to be sort of some furniture in, in that space. Okay. Interesting. So, water is the <laughs> Can't do anything with that. One way, I can't see. Really dark. Other side, bigger cavern has furniture. Might be worth a check. What do you guys think? Yeah, let's go to the one that has light on it. Does it look like it has a stack on it? Not that I could see, but furniture. So someone's been there, I think. Maybe. Oh, well, wait, is there a sofa? Because if there is that, that, that would be my home. Like, much like we thought we'd found Gooby's home, this could be my home. Could be, I don't... It's some kind of chair thing, right? Like, big and... Yeah, like, big chair. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, but Bowie... Bowie... It runs to that room. will give chase. I will follow. As you give You're chase, awesome. starting with Barry, could I have all of the terrestrial animals, the land-based <laughs> animals, roll me a quick check? Does it, no. That doesn't include me, does it? Or... That does include you if you are following you Barry. Are. You're on the ground. Okay. I genuinely, I don't know what's happening here, but surprisingly, you asked me for a quick check three times in a row now, and I've rolled a nine again. You know what? I've rolled a ten. I have rolled an eight, nine, ten. Ten total. Uh, so, two tens... And an 11? No, I rolled a 9. Oh, you wrote... You wrote a 9. 9 total, though. Yeah, not like 9 total. Okay. Same as every other quick check I've done. <laughs> you start running down this corridor, and there is a large, unnoticed gap in the middle of it. But you all just sort of spring over it. Or stretch your tentacles and drag the bucket over it without difficulty. And you make your way into this wide open room. Uh, is there a sofa or sofa-like piece of furniture in this room? The closest thing to a sofa in this room is a large workbench. with what appears to be a human stood at it. Okay. 
the human is talking, but as as you are animals, you sort of understand it in the way that the uh, the Peanuts cartoons used to depict the teacher. Wah 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 wah. wah. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I. I, I run <laughs> close, and in uh, uh, you know, I I shout Barry, but obviously no noise actually. Like to the human, no noise comes out. As I go, Barry, this this is not my home. I thought it might be my home because I thought there'd be a sofa here, but that's that's not a sofa. That looks like um, a snack table. The large humanoid creature at the table turns and looks down at Barry. Oh no. And reaches down and scoops Barry up. I don't like being picked. I, I like Flurry as much as possible. Uh, and, and Roll me a fierce check. Uh, can I just quickly just check what actually one important detail on this one? Is it a two handed pickup or a one handed pickup? It is presently a one-handed pickup. Oh, in which case, 100% I fight this with every fibre of my being, rolling an eight. Okay. You sink teeth into the, the hand of the humanoid trying to lift you onto the table, and it just sort of yelps a little, and not like hurls Barry across the room, but like drops Barry uh, with, with fervor and speed. Bowie! No! Scoop! I guess so as I stare... I stare at the human not understanding that the human can't understand me. The, the human lifts its hand up to its mouth and just like... Hmm... <laughs> And then waves its hand around and then goes back to doing what it was doing at the table to begin with, which appears to be picking up a um, a beaker of fluid and pouring it into another one, placing the beaker down, stirring, and then pouring back into another and stirring. <laughs> I had a plan, then that's gone from my head, so it's just like Barry in real life. Um, <laughs> Art imitates life. Yeah, I have to be careful now because Reese sat next to me <laughs> and he's judging my barrenness. <laughs> <laughs> And has uh, has a pencil. She's gonna jab you when you're not when you're not Barry. Oh, no. Reese says rude um, but true. Um, but, uh, as, uh, as, um, I just wanted to. I uh, important to pick up with two hands because I am two hand rat. Two hand Barry. And then again, like that. obviously, the the human obviously does not understand this. Does, human does not react. Yeah, do, does not pay attention to you anymore. Um, I try and climb up their leg. Roll me a quick check. If it's a nine again. Oh, do you know what? I rolled an actual nine this time. Therefore, it's an eleven. Okay. So that's like at least it's a different roll. Somewhat different. You you scamper up the leg of the creature and it doesn't turn to pay attention to you. And I, you, uh, you scamper up its leg and, and as high as you wish to get. I, I can I just continue going until like I'm I'm like on, on their chest and I'm holding on being like Bowie And I kinda of have a quick look around like what they're like if I get a better view of like what they're doing on the you can see that they've got several bottles of, of fluids of various colours. Uh, I don't know how well rats can differentiate colour. Um, let me just quickly just double check with an expert. I'll mute my mic first. 
Please hold while we check. Why we rat fact check? Yeah, this is a this is a flash fact. Things to learn of the week. You don't get it yet. Not until we find the. Thing we need to find the thing out week. first. Yeah. Right. Um. So what else is going on in this room while we're waiting for the expert? You can see several. Uh, bookcases of various uh, stages of decrepitness uh, dust covering various surfaces of, of the bookcases some of which have books on some of which have what might once have been books on but they've fallen into disrepair uh, right. others of which that have just been emptied and left here to rot away um there is a large workbench with a, a number of uh, fluid containers along it of various sizes, some over open flames that are just like bubbling away, uh, some which have like the, the mad scientist, um, like, um, pipes between them and, and fluid is like yeah. running through it and, and and distilling down into other containers and there is a human there, there is the human at the table and there is sort of a human sized pile of what may have once been bedding in one corner of the room okay um, I have the word back from the expert whenever you're ready for it. Tell us. Uh, so they are red, green, colorblind. Um, uh, therefore, like th they wouldn't see those, and they generally have like not great eyesight anyway. Yeah. You see some fluids in various colors. Ah. Oh. Um, uh, I, uh, Bowie, there is, um, the, uh, the, the human here seems to have, or like, yeah, seems to have, like, different waters, and they're, like, different colours. Um, one appears to be one colour, and the other one appears to be, like, that looks like a different colour, and then... I don't know how many bottles are because the voice in the sky hasn't told me yet. So I keep going through them all, saying like whether they are different colours or like maybe oh that one there looks like it's the same as the the second one. I don't know. There's no symbols on the bottles, no. No. Barry. Mm. Barry, could you roll me a clever check? That would be a three. <laughs> Barry, you're not very clever. Bowie. I I apologize. You are not very clever in this moment. I oh, know, Bowie. Um, was there any other exit in this room? Uh, there is another, almost exactly opposite the entrance. You come in through past the work table. <laughs> there is another exit to the room. I know. Okay. Smart. I think maybe we should press on. I don't know what we can do in here. Ree says it's okay, Barry. What? What does Barry? Did anything happen when Barry rolled a three? No. Nope. Okay, right, cool. That's fine then. Yeah, you just, Barry. Barry. You you just don't notice a thing. Uh... Um, Barry dies off of the human. Um, uh, it thuds down to the ground, and it's just like I'm ready to continue. Oh, yeah, let's at, continue shuffling through. We could always come back. At the thud, the human just, like, slowly looks down at you and then goes back to the... They're not very observant, are they? Very repetitive work they seem to be doing. Wah, 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 wah. Wah, 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 wah. Are they okay? He seems to like talking to himself. Hmm. You can roll me a people... clever check if you would like to try and work out what they are saying. 
I mean, I'm not feeling very clever, but I'll give it a go. I, I, I'll roll a clever, because I want to know. I'm not clever at all. I got a four. <laughs> I got a two. <laughs> Can we get Goobies to roll one in Tanny's brb -ness? Oh, yes. Do and I roll we'll... that? Yes, roll me a, a d10 plus three. Ten. So they got a seven. Ten all together. I what returned. did they learn? Gooby, you've just rolled a clever check. Yeah. Uh, the, the human who doesn't seem to be paying a lot of attention to the large cavalcade of animals that has entered the room, especially yeah. after trying to pick up Barry and being bitten for it. Uh, looks down as Barry flops off the chest, flops off of his chest, and just plops to the ground, and then goes back to the work that he is doing. What the hell? And then he just sort of says says once again to himself, uh, seemingly, a a again, just largely seems to be talking to himself in this room. Uh, you have identified that he says, uh, <coughs> it has to be me. Ah, terrible and painful death to anyone who stops me. Must cure filth fever. What the hell? Has to be me. Has to. I said this to the team. Does that make any sense to anyone? Out of character, Morgan. Filth <laughs> <laughs> oh, fever. Uh, filth fever. Uh, roll me a clever check, Drift. Again, I'm not very. Uh, that was a nine. You have heard uh, Neferin talking about filth, filth fever. It is a nasty disease that comes from being infected by uh, <clears throat> effectively rubbish. Uh, oh. By being around things that have, have been left to rot. Um, he's, he's been around rotten stuff too long, I think. He, I think he, that's what he's saying. The, it sounds like, from what you can understand, for now that um, uh, now that Gooby has translated for you into the universal language of animals, um, he is trying to come up with a um, a cure for a disease that is currently un incurable. Oh, maybe he should try um, yogurt because that's what that's what Maui takes. Maybe at some point we can figure out how to talk to him and tell him. Maybe, but uh, I'll go tell him. I I go and yell Bowie, um, and then the, the, that. But obviously he doesn't understand me, and then I come back upset. Roll me a clever check as you attempt to get across some meaning to him. I rolled a nine. <laughs> a nine total? Yeah, nine total. Oh, nine total, because rats have a clever of zero. Not nine, baby. <laughs> uh, he looks down... And then sort of walks away from the table for a few minutes. Sorry, what was that? He he looks down at Barry and then he leaves the room the direction that you came in from. 
Ah, uh, guys, um, I think he understood. I think he's going to try yoga, or uh, yogi, because that's, again, that's what Murray has, and it seems to help uh, help him and Guybrush. So, uh, uh, oh, so I forgot to tell him about Guybrush, but, like, I told him about Murray, so, and Murray's the sicker one, so he'd probably understand that. So, um, problem solved. That's, that's good. Uh, all of you roll me a clever check as you watch him leave the room. Hey guys! Yeah. I went from nat 9 to nat 1! <laughs> yeah, that'd be a nat 1 for me too. I rolled a uh, 5! What, what, what are we rolling again, sorry? Uh, just a clever hey. check. Clever so check. Uh, uh, that would so, be a grand total of 6. Uh, 8 total. Okay. I, f I feel like it's for the lols Barry and Drift mark a point of stress <gasps> that doesn't but sound like lols two points of stress I know I have one point of stress uh, you 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 try to try to see something there is something there and it's scratching the back of your mind and it just doesn't penetrate. You can't work out what it is. Bowie? Gooby? Mm hmm You watch as the human leaves the room. And you've watched a lot of humans walking around. Yeah. A lot of people come in and out of your home and are served drinks by your dads. By your dad. You've watched your dads walking around a lot. You haven't seen many humans walk like that. That creature walked very stiffly. Interesting. Uh... Almost like it wasn't actually a living human. Oh. Almost like it was uh, a puppet <clears throat> on strings. I quietly mentioned this on to the other guy. That's disturbing. Mm hmm. Interesting. Um, I. I don't get it. Like, he's definitely like a woman. Also, As... to bear in mind, not in a it just for the sake of the mayor. Bowie has no un understanding of anything else other than woman and wow. As as you're Ooh. being explained this, uh, Barry, several things sort of click into place in your little rat mind that you've you've been trying to grasp since since you got into this room you now notice the the stiff walking that that doesn't look like you also notice the the other thing that was off the thing didn't have a heartbeat when you were on its chest ah and you're like oh Shit. humans do that yeah um i just i think really weird guys just like um so like you know the thumpy thing that we all have. Do all of us have hearts? I have about. I think they have two. Awesome. They definitely have multiple. How many? I'm not sure. You're like I'm a tiger. Sure hang, hang on. Hey Google. Pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it's two hearts. There's uh, one to blood pump blood to the body. There's, oh no, it's three. Yeah. How there's one. There's one for the brain. One for the tentacles. One for the gills. I think. Three hearts. You're like better than a Time Lord, which apparently Barry understands, even though we don't watch Doctor Who. But anyway, um, yeah, so you know the <laughs> dumpy thing that we have? Like, um, he didn't have, uh, his thumper wasn't thumping. Um, so... I mean, like a heart thing is what it's called. I mean, hearing people hear it say it. Yeah, thumper. I have three. Did you um, that? That's so many thumpers. Um, yeah. But yeah, he. So you have three. Uh, I have one. I assume Rat Rat has one, and Talon 
um, Talon. Drift has one. Drift. <laughs> Sudden, suddenly, suddenly, you notice the one with the talons has one. <laughs> you notice in the corner of the room, a dark figure just blends out of the darkness, looks around, confused for a minute, and then runs off down the corridor. What was I doing here? What? Uh, I don't know what that was about, but as I was explaining before, the voice in the sky really interrupted. Uh, that guy didn't have a thumper, therefore I don't think that foreman was a foreman, but like a fake foreman. Oh, I think what I'm seeing here is that it's a puppet. Like somebody controlling the dead guy. Really? Oh, like... Controlling a dead person? I, I, I don't know anyone who would be interested in that. Oh, really? Rat, Ratberry makes mental notes for Father! <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I just get the feeling Ratberry, said. like, pulls out a little notebook, like uh, Carrion's notebook, and just starts making notes in it. I don't yeah. even know why you, why are you saying about your, your father, because uh, you don't look like a necromancer. Well, now you listen to me. <laughs> that was only about. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about either. Let's get going, shall we? Uh, what do we do? I don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. There's nothing weird about my, my father. Ah, hey, oh, you got three hearts, so what? that's weird, isn't it? <laughs> well, that's a big up on Octopus. Uh, is guys, there a staff here? Guys. Anything here that we can stop the spell? I want to go home, please. Are we following that guy? The guy that's, sort of guy that's kind of a guy. Bowie! And then charge. Charge is charge. They've, got, they've, they've gone out the way we came in. Oh yeah, yeah, do we want to just continue on then? Sorry, sorry. Guys, do we want to just, should we just continue on? This is the idea I've had. I was, I was very confused by whose voice that was a second ago. I don't know either. Who's that guy? Yeah, I think, I think we should head on. Let's go. Follow the Barry. Follow the Barry. Very. <laughs> Kill me. <clears throat> Guys, are you are you are you, are you taking the mic? No, I no. think it's quite fun. Okay. I'm, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to see if I can make it like is it's fun, is so you know, similar. Okay. Very. So... <laughs> oh, in this case, back. Barry goes running, and he goes like thump, thump, thump along the ground. Like his, his butt goes up, and butt comes down. That's how Barry run. <laughs> I I want to think that he just says that as he runs. Butt goes up, butt goes down, butt goes up, butt goes down. No, so he doesn't say that voice in the sky. Bowie, voice in the sky. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, voice in the sky. Jesus. Only one of you, or two of you, can break the just, fourth wall. Apparently, just gestures wildly. Don't know apparently, where the voice in the sky is coming from, but yeah. <laughs> appar apparently, it's mainly Bowie can do it, but then others can do it if if voice in the sky really fuck up. <laughs> in which case, we all do it for a second. You I carry on. For you, voice in the sky. You carry Keep on you down, down the corridor. I, 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 I feel on. I feel that as as familiars and as as pets and things, I think we all hear the voice in the sky, which is why occasionally a cat will just look up at nothing. <laughs> you know that would I make sense. All, I think we me, all hear him. It's just the just it's just the Harry converses with him more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mal's look, Mal's look at fun, looking at something funny. It's the voice in the sky. Makes sense. Uh, this, is gonna, this is this is going about as well as I expected, Ree. <laughs> yeah, we're going to continue on. Let's go. You can... um, before my voice even strays even more. You continue onwards, and you push into a room that has uh, a strange door made of beads over the entrance. No, not the beads, my enemy. Oh no, we're entering a adult video store. <laughs> the room itself is filled with 
very out of keeping with what has been in the rest of the space, you realize you've come to a different sort of room. Uh, there are soft cushions. Is there a sofa? There is not a sofa. Oh. There are soft cushions lining the floor uh, for most of the room. There's sort of a a carpet leading into the center of the space. On the far wall, there is a, a fine wooden desk, and sat curled atop the desk is a large black cat. <laughs> Dives into the nearest pile of cushions. <laughs> um, leaning against the desk is a... Uh, a fine wooden staff, at its end a crystal. Uh, and as you enter the room and Ratberry dives into a pile of cushions, one eye on the cat opens and looks over towards you and just says, I heard you coming, you have a voice in the sky narrating what you're doing. Oh, for God's sake, I knew he'd betray us. Oh, damn it, voice in the sky! <laughs> yeah, that's kind of really low for you, sir, up above. Hey, if you give me things that you can do, my bad guys can do them too. <laughs> I mean, I, I suppose technically that is playing fair, but anyway. Yeah, we're Bowie! We gave the guy too much power. I see the cousin. What is it you hope to do here? Um... I, we were told to smash a wizard staff to go home and turn a rabbit back into a foreman and and then I get to see my brothers again and then um, and then um, and then points at um, Gooby and says and then and then they get to go back to the big water bottle that they live in and then we actually really discussed where 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 um, where Drift was from but I assume they'd go back home and then Rat Barry would go uh, Rat Berry not Bowie that's me Bowie. Right, Berry would go back to a bag. I don't know, yeah. but that's basically. I live in a bag. <laughs> well, it's just the voice from between the cushions. <laughs> yeah, just, just like peeps out. I live in a bag. Peeps. <laughs> <laughs> just a pile of cushions shuffles. I live in a bag. The cat opens both eyes. Claws extend. I think I need to protect my master's staff then. Um, who's your master? The wizard. Is it me? The wizard, Mr. Fell. Oh. Well. Uh, sorry, but I really like to go home now. You could just send us home. That'll be so much easier. Yeah, if you send us home, like by allowing us to do what we want, then we won't be here to bother you. And also, we can get Amber to go back to the home and farm. Uh, you see, I can't help thieves. And I can't actually do magic. I can just eat pests. Oh. Uh Oh, it's a good thing there's no pests here, because otherwise... Oh, sh you mean that. John? Yes? Can I cast Soak? I want a bucket of water above that cat. <laughs> Do it. Yes. Do it! <laughs> what am I doing to cast this? Well, uh, mortal enemy of cats everywhere. A bucket of water. <laughs> Roll I have a bucket of water, I want it straight also, above it. Also, there's another thing I want to cast, is that's wizard dead jets, but let's, let's see how this plays out. I also had an idea for a thing to cast, but this happened first. <laughs> okay. I, I also had an idea for a thing to cast. <laughs> well, but mine was dumb. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't worry, mine is also dumb. Oh, no, that's right then. We'll, we'll give it time, you can all cast your dumb things at the cat. Yeah. <laughs> Sean, roll me a clever. But I'm not very... I will, you. I will accept a fierce. I got a seven, so fierce would be plus one, so that would be an eight. Okay. 
you swoop round the room and just as you flap your wings over the top of the cat you summon forth a torrent of water about a bucket's worth that splashes down on the cat and it shrieks as it is suddenly soaked the shriek of a cat that is suddenly soaked in water and you knock the 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 everything that is on the desk just gets suddenly sodden and washed away and the staff falls to the ground beautiful and the cat just leaps up onto the desk shrieking and arching its back and trying to shake itself <laughs> dry uh, Tanny you said you had a thing next uh, I like to use wizard digits to see if I can try to smack the glass um, the gem okay you pick up the staff and you drop it back to the ground gem first and it and there's a crack in the gem it's not destroyed but you have damaged it nice uh, then I think Drew said they had a dumb thing to do um yeah I'm gonna go for this version of the dumb thing uh, so um, I assume at some point that the cat is going to giant jump at me, Bowie, because I'm explaining this as Bowie. Um, and right as like the the cat goes to attack, um, I'd like to use my slyness wink uh, in order to uh, use door magic to summon a door, because it doesn't. It says specifically open, close, lock, unlock doors, all of the classics. And I think summoning is a very classic spell. Uh, and therefore a door appears before the cat can hit me um, and then they hit their face on the door and I go, Bowie! As that happens to summon door. Okay. The cat soaking wet leaps into the air talons forward at you shouting, Barry! Bowie! And as it its claws reach towards you there is a shtoom and a door suddenly from the middle of nowhere poof, slams down and there is another loud poof, as the cat's face slams into it almost perfectly outlining a cat's face in the door towards you as sort of Tom and Jerry style the cat embeds itself in the door Bowie. Roll, roll me a uh, sly check. Plus three, baby. Let's go. It was ah, I rolled a two. That would be a five. I rolled a ten. So for yeah. the cat, that's twelve. Oh no! So the door <laughs> slams down. The cat slams into it. The door falls towards you and you scramble to get out of the way of it. And you just manage to get through the small opening in the door as it down around you and just slams onto your tail. Mark another point of stress. Bowie. No! Uh, Berry. Now, I've got a dumb thing to do, but I don't know whether to do this dumb thing to the cat or the staff. Uh, I feel the staff because our mission is to destroy the staff, right? Uh, yes. Right. I am going to loop from the cushions. I am going to put my little tiny rat arms up. There you go. And it's going to be like fucking Dragon Ball Z charging out like pebbles fall, like rising off the, <laughs> the ground as it's like shut and then a horse will appear on <clears throat> the staff. <laughs> <laughs> and fall onto a staff. Ratberry runs into the middle of the room and this is boom and little stones rise up and you all look over and this is taking really long and, and stones and a glow <laughs> appears above him and the cat looks round very confused to what's happening and suddenly 
a fully formed, fully sized horse appears above the staff, shattering the staff, <laughs> sending the gems <laughs> scattered across the room. I need I need to check check one minor detail in this this entire plan, which is I what? shoot that Barry was going come yeah. horse. <laughs> This entire thing went on for several minutes. <laughs> Everyone just stood there going, <laughs> no? Whole, whole episodes of the anime of this passed yeah. as you all had flashbacks <laughs> to a difficult time in your childhood. That one time the bully said something to you in school that really inspired you to the power of friendship and how having friends made all the difference in the world. And then a horse appeared. And shattered the staff. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And they yeah. just... Yeah. Oh, exactly. horse stands and knows how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Of which if Goku saw it once, he'd be able to do it immediately. Yes. Uh, so what was, what was the thing you were checking, Drew? Or was that... I was very much... It was very much checking. It was the... It was the... It was the... The, the, the rat Barry was going, Kame, Harme, okay. and then horse, and a horse appears. Uh, indeed, that is exactly what happened. Exactly, exactly what happens. <laughs> uh, the horse looks confused. Where am I? <laughs> you, have, you have gained us victory, my friend. <laughs> Destroy friend. the staff. It stomps down on the already splintered staff, and there is just a pulse of magic. <laughs> I smash the staff for my friend. Yeah. I don't know who any of you are, but you said I, I was your friend. <laughs> what is? I'm Rat Barry, and I'm your best friend. <laughs> I'm Gilby. And I'm Bowie. What's your name, Mr. Big Rat? I'm Horse. Oh, hi, Horse. And it rears up and slams its two feet down into the staff. And the again, it is already splintered and broken, but it gets more splintered and more broken. Friendship is magic. And then disappears because it's been summoned and used and done, and it's... Pfft. Yeah. This is, this is a very weird episode of My Little Pony, but... It, it said the line, and it vanishes back to Equestria, where apparently this horse just came from. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how that happened, but uh, go 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 on. Um... Um, Barry would like to immediately run and pick up as many pieces of the staff as he possibly can. As as you start to gather pieces of the staff, the tears in reality that you all fell through to begin with rip open, and you have a few minutes to say goodbyes to each other. If you ever come across, come to the Stormy Brew. If you're I'll miss you, I'll miss you, terrifying pigeon and bucket <laughs> of pudding, and especially you, Barry. <laughs> I'll miss you, Rat Barry. And I'll miss you all. Thanks for the fun. I hope you enjoy your giant water bottle and and uh, big burb wherever you come from. I hope it is good for you too. Uh, I'm sorry we apparently never really properly discussed that, but Ratberry, <laughs> also, I hope you enjoy your bag, and if you find yourself on my sofa, feel free to look me up. I'll be on the sofa, too. Aww. Until next time! Time, time, time! <laughs> Just know that when adventure calls, I will respond. Bowie! We'll hear you calling on the wind, I'm sure. And with that, Barry disappears into a portal. As do you all. And the cat looks round, looks at the shattered staff. Um, <laughs> and literally, just as I'm about to get pulled through, I want to cast Slick on the cat. Yeah, I, I was nice. going to say, I want to just like pearl mist in there as well, just to really fuck it. <clears throat> oh, um, Obviously, as as Barry's about to disappear, sees uh, Ratberry doing this and goes, "Ah, Bowie!" and also hurls Miss Fruit on the cat. 
Just as, as, well, well, okay. uh, for limited invisibility, but that's just how it is. As you all disappear, <laughs> the cat. So we all disappear and royally fuck over this cat. <laughs> the cat looks round at the room, the door that is now in the middle of the room with his face imprinted in it. Looks across at the staff shattered with clear hoof prints in it. Just. Oh shit. And just suddenly a slick of oil <laughs> spreads across the floor. <laughs> and the cat just slides into the corner of the room, and then the room just fills <laughs> with mist. But it's like quite clear that it's two layers of mist. It's, it's two yeah, layers like, of mist. Really. It's like. It's really like, missed it's like it. Full, it's like a full blown storm now. <laughs> and just in the corner of this room, you just hear the cat. Oh, come on. <laughs> You're a jerk. <laughs> and you all. Do. You all <laughs> disappear back to wherever it was that you came from, presuming that somewhere within the. Uh, complex of that dungeon Amber who was a charred rabbit has now become Amber who is a charred human um, are we, we going to do a, a return home and montage and I would like to do a return home montage so starting with Tanny <laughs> you yes. return home and appear back on the tavern bar describe the scene it's it's a night time, so everyone's quieting down. Um, um, Gooby sees like borrowed, um, already doing a clean up on the tat on the tat on the bar and everything. But Milo's not to be seen anywhere for a while until he passes him, and he's just like helping clean up the tables and everything. And like Gooby's just like. Ah, so much better. Oh, sweet hell. And it's like bubbles coming out of the, like, like it's a big sigh, but it's like bubbles come out of the water. It's like a massive sigh. <laughs> like, uh, that's enough of a friendship for me today. <laughs> and like, borrowed and my is just like, huh, seems like someone else is really sleepy today. <laughs> but yeah, that's how it is. Drift. Um, the drift will just um will reappear. We'll go and check in on Neff, but given Neff doesn't understand them or anything like that, um, just kind of shuffles up next to Neff and just is kind of like clearly happy to be home even though Neff doesn't know why. Uh, Ratberry. Yeah. Ratberry appears back in the bag. Oh! My bag! I have all of my stuff's here! He's just got like a like a thimble and a bit of like half-eaten bit of bread and... Like, oh, father! And clambers out of the bag, and he pokes his head out, and he's like, Fah! and Carrion's like, oh, <coughs> oh, you you missed a really big fight. And Ratberry looks around and sees a a a a, 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 a battle strewn tavern with a weird devil person oh. out in out the door, out out a door, dead and and. And Carrion says, "No, oh, no, oh, no, oh, oh, well, I, I, I missed you. I don't, I don't know why I missed you. Why did I miss you? Anyway, it starts flying him around the room like a little plane. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, the crossover wonder. And Barry. Um, so yeah, Barry uh, appears back in a cage in in Newcastle." Um, on cage clean day, um, and therefore re goes to the cage and starts like sorting out stuff. He's got like the rest of the rats out and he's like trying to find Barry, and obviously can't see him. He's like clearing away, like getting under the beds out of the way. When Barry suddenly just pops in, um, to which obviously Reed does not notice Barry popping back into existence. Um, uh, but he's like, Oh, Barry, that's where you are, and then like goes to like scoop up Barry out of the cage, 
gets him to go join his brothers. And then as he as Ree goes back to the cage, you notices know, uh like a bunch of magical crystal and bits of magical stuff and stuff like that. And he's like, Oh, that's weird and, and then me, Drew, is like, Oh, what's weird, Ree? And Ree's like, Oh, well, yeah, again, Barry, I've cleared Barry out of the cage and there's there's again bits of magical crystal and we're like, Oh, Barry. As Barry is sat there chatting to his brothers, being like, I met I met a white called Rat 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 Barry. Apparently he forgot he was rat, so he has to call him, obviously he had to be called Ratberry and um and had a big adventure and beat up a cat and destroyed stuff and it was like a full moon, but it was in fact a fake full moon and goes through like the entire adventure. But obviously that Barry is obviously the big hero as soon as that ice cream Barry and I charged and um the day was saved because of me and we shot like two layers of mist at this cat and really and really screwed with him. Um, and all of the, the, the brothers are just like, okay, Barry, sure. Like, that's what you did. You were just Barry, you're full of Oh, just no, no, not like that. So she'd be like, oh, yeah, sure. Like, whatever, <laughs> Barry. And Barry's just like, yeah, Bowie. <laughs> as, 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 oh, obviously, we'd be like, Barry, you've got to stop. You've got to stop hoarding mystical gems. Uh, we can't have you doing that. It's dangerous. I, I just like the idea that, that you apparently have repeatedly cleaned the cage out and just like, how the hell does he keep finding these mystical gems? Yeah, like, we don't put him in there with him, but he's got to stop bloody doing this. Uh, and on that note, on that final Barry... We'll call a close to this session. That went places. <laughs> so many places. That did things. There were things that occurred. I did not expect the final fight to go quite that cartoon. Yeah. But it worked. It. But it, it did. Worked. I love it. It did. It did. It did. John's got stuck in a loop. Um, it help. did. <laughs> egg beater. Can I borrow your egg beater? Can I borrow your egg beater? Thank Bowie! You. Thank Bowie. you guys in the chat so much for watching. If you haven't done so already, please do hit the follow button. It is a great way for you guys to know we go live. A completely free way that you can support us on the channel. And we have some exciting oh, things planned in the not-too-distant future uh, that, that are coming up that you will enjoy seeing. For a start, I'm going to go through the clips at some point and feature some of the clips now that we can do featured clips oh boy. Oh um, boy. we also have a youtube channel that you can go to to find all of our old videos as well as uh occasionally we'll do things that are youtube specific um such as jeff's recent playthrough of uh, Sherlock Holmes The Awakened uh, uh, We also have a Discord that you can go to and join and we share things like pictures of our food uh, or we talk about the games that we've been playing or what people are doing to celebrate their birthdays I'm, some of them do this uh we also have the Out of Context Quotes channel that is now full up with various... <coughs> uh, well, tonight it has had added to it a fair amount of uh, Barry-related quotes that I feel I need to try and add to a quote bot. Uh, um, I feel like that's... F I think there's four Barry quotes there. Yeah. That, I mean, that's a fair number of Barry quotes. Uh, my favourite one is still, are you sure? Sometimes I wake up and think I'm a bed, but I'm still Barry. Yeah. <laughs> so cute. Um, I, th I feel you need that on a t-shirt, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't tell me. With, with a little picture of Barry. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have a Discord. Uh, the link is in the description below the video. It will also be appearing in the it, in the chat over there momentarily. Uh, but we have the following streams coming up. What is coming up tomorrow night over on the Angel Games Player Channel? Angel is failing at Star Rail, and Jeff on the 
Jeff on the FBF channel will be playing Masks of Niala Thotep, an interlude episode to cover for the fact that he was away on holiday last month. And Ben oh, may or Ben may or may not be getting over it with Bennett Foddy. On Thursday On Thursday, Angel Thursday. loves Yakuza Zero. And so is probably playing it. I'm thinking on Friday, because Jeff's not got a stream planned at the moment, I might play Baldur's Gate 3, because that comes out this week. It uh, does! And so actually yeah. getting to play the finished game will be cool. Um, Saturday, Angel is going to be struggling to play trial Trails in the Sky. And then Saturday evening on the FBF channel, we will be continuing the Tyranny of Dragons campaign uh, as as we s explore the creepy cool. cave. Just so creepy. On Sunday, Rhyme of the Frostmaiden continues as the group head off to find a hidden segment of a city in the tundra as they have a new step in their quest to uh, explore Icewind Dale. They have to find an ancient city segment, uh, a long-lost tower. On Monday night, uh, on the Angel Games Player channel, Angel is yelling at monsters in Genshin. Uh, next Tuesday, I think Tuesday night, I'm going to be playing... Uh, more Marvel Midnight Suns on the FBF channel. And then next Wednesday, uh, Jennifer and I at least are starting a new Minecraft adventure where hopefully we'll be able to do a stream together using new powers from Twitch. So tune in to find out if we can work that out. Uh where we'll be able to see the stream from both of our points of view if you go to our respective channels. But for now, <coughs> we are going to do a raid. 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 Uh, Joby's in Sea of Thieves? Joby is in Sea of Thieves. Sea of Thieves. Let's, let's give Joby some love. Just Joby one. Uh, who is playing some Tea of Steve's. Go give Joby some love. We'll see you guys again real soon. For now, so long. Bye, guys. <laughs>